we're talking two carts, they were probably 300 pounds each. Very, very heavy equipment that had to be moved into the room to do the operation properly. I have actually heard my back crack. Pain, it was incredible. I went out back into the scrub room and cried. The impact that it's had on my life has been absolutely incredible. If I do something that is physically exerting, that involves my back, I'm paying for it for a week. I know that I have to take a morphine that night. A nurse for over 30 years, Eula McLaren was moving a patient from a wheelchair to a walker into a bed when she injured her back. The pain never really goes away. I live with discomfort almost every day. Like sometimes it's worse than other times. It's also stressful and your physical, physical and emotional state. Nurses have a big problem. And the biggest problem of all is lifting and moving people. Something like 50 to 80% of nurses will experience back pain over the course of their careers. And they're nine times as likely to have a back injury compared to the average worker. For nurses like Eula, a single injury is often a result of the long-term strain of repetitive lifting. This is a type of damage that builds without necessarily feeling any pain, where you're constantly loading it and not giving yourself enough time to recuperate. The muscles and tendons and ligaments stretch, and you start to get inflammatory processes going on in there. Usually what we're most concerned about is the compressive force that's when the disc of the spine gets compressed too much and you can start to get injuries. If you're digging a trench, you get a backhoe. If you want to lift a load, use a crane or a forklift or something. We're going to have to do the same in healthcare. We need new kinds of equipment, and that's what we develop here. Over the past decade, the research team has studied the use of lifting tools in hospitals and homes. Beyond the development of a number of new technologies, the team recommends a comprehensive three-point plan to reduce and prevent injuries. One, encourage the investment in and use of overhead lifts. We know lifting patients without proper tools increases the risk of back injuries. That's why it's essential to advocate for investment to continue to improve access to overhead lifts. Two, education and coaching approaches that treat caregivers more like athletes with on-the-spot feedback to correct technique and ensure better lifting practices. Three, updated on-the-job guidelines limiting manual lifting to no more than 35 pounds and the recognition that with the right tools and coaching, caregivers can use lifts on their own rather than requiring a second person. I think most nurses understand that back injuries are a problem and back pain kind of comes with the job. Getting the idea out there that, look, without taking care of yourself first, you're not going to be able to care for your patients, your family, your children, and applying a few of those common rules across these jobs, just reevaluating could help. I'm starting now to, to be more aware of posture, transfer, ask for assistance. It's, it, I'm doing better. You have to always remember to, to take care of ourselves. I can't do the physical work that I used to be able to do. And that's frustrating for me because I loved my job so much. I'd love to get up and go to work. I get upset because I'm hurt and I shouldn't be. And my life has changed and I haven't been able to do anything. We need to address it because if we don't, we lose a lot of nurses from the healthcare system and we need them. But I think more than anything else is why should people have to suffer? For more information, visit preventbackinjury.org.